Welcome to the President's Diary, where we take a look at His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Irfan Ali's week of activities. His Excellency started his week by hosting the annual Emancipation Celebration and Dinner at State House on Sunday. Invitees from across the country were treated to cultural presentations depicting scenes leading up to emancipation in Guyana. Chairpersons of the Public Utilities Commission, PUC, and the Public Service Appellate Tribunal, PSAT, were sworn in by President Dr. Muhammad Irfan Ali at his office on Monday. Dr. Nanda Gopal was sworn in as PUC's chairman, while Justice B. Srat Singh Roy is the new chairman of PSAT. At this point in our historical transformation, we are looking to bring treated water by the end of next year to more than 85% of our people. We're looking to reduce the cost of electricity and we're looking to make the supply of electricity more reliable, efficient and stable. We're doing this at a time when across the globe, many countries are faced with difficulties of providing such service. We're seeing the increase for such service, increase in charges for such service because fundamentally, economies around the world are faced with the same challenges that we are faced with. Challenges of increased operational costs as a result of energy price, improve, increased transport and logistics costs, and all the other inflationary pressures. But with some economic planning and good governance, and strong policy formulation here in Ghana, we are able to set these targets that are unimaginable in the world we live in. On Wednesday morning, the head of state made an early morning visit to Border Market in Georgetown. Concerns about security and the city constabulary's slow response were raised, to which President Ali announced several on-the-spot interventions, including establishing a police outpost at the market. He also mandated the ministers of local government and regional development to hold consultations with vendors on ways of improving the physical condition of the shopping hub. Since August 2020, the housing sector received a $240 billion investment, which has spurred massive development. President Ali made this revelation at the opening of the International Building Exposition 2024 on Thursday evening at the Guyana National Stadium. has resulted in the regularization of housing settlement and the delivery of over 35,000 house lots and close to 2,000 new homes. It has resulted in the construction of new four-way highways. 128,000 citizens would have benefited from improved shelter from our house lot allocation since we assumed office in 2020. Importantly, the total subsidy or wealth transfer to the beneficiary of house lot is approximately $94 billion during this period. The government also increased the mortgage relief from $15 million to $30 million and now close to 17,000 homeowners have benefited at a total cost of more than $2.7 billion. President Ali on Saturday met with 450 youths to distribute a plethora of sports gear. That talent and gift will remain a talent and gift if we don't nurture it, if we don't build it, if we don't grow it, if we don't shape it, and that is important. We are going to launch in the coming weeks specific initiatives for football, basketball, table tennis, volleyball, badminton, and squash. Those are the first set of sports, the next set of sports, sporting disciplines that we're going to launch specific initiative for and in those those initiatives will be ensuring in key areas key growth centers we build multi-purpose tarmacs multi-purpose facility in which badminton basketball table tennis volleyball squash can be played and we are also going to give out the equipment to support 
uh, those sporting discipline across the country. This was the President's Diary, where we took a look at His Excellency Dr. Muhammad Irfan Ali's week of activities. Thank you for watching, and do join us again next time.